Hello everybody, this is the Luckinator here. We're back for another episode of City Skylines. I believe this is episode numero quattro or four, if you're an English speaker like myself. So let's go ahead and jump right into the game. I said hit the continue button. There we go. All right. So um, it's been a few days since I've gotten into this, got kind of busy and I was spending some time trying to do a little bit of a Grand Theft Auto video I put up, and so I tantalized your taste buds with that while I was gone once again for a couple of days. My lovely, uh, wonderful girlfriend, it was her, uh, it's our last weekend together while she goes off on assignment um, either to New Mexico or Phoenix. She's a traveling nurse, so uh, I had to enjoy my enjoy her company while I still could anyway let's get back into this um what where, where are we what's happening what's what's going what are we doing looks like we've still got some trash problems from last time that we're trying to deal with I did get another uh, 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 trash thingy but um, apparently tra garbage collection is being notoriously slow um, and despite the fact that I've been, I've been putting budget, um, so we've got to move towards unlocking incinerators relatively quickly, because otherwise I don't know what we're going to do with all this garbage. Um, what is this other problem? What is this blue flashing thing that's going on here? What else is the problem? Not enough education. So education is also yet still a problem in this town that we've got to deal with. Um, if I, I know we built this high school here not too long ago. Um, I think I can pull up my educational layer if I go over here to education. And, um, yeah, our, ed our educational capacity is, uh, <laughs> let's just say it's barely adequate. Most of our people are uneducated slobs, so we've got to, we've got to deal with that problem, especially if we want to grow our commercial development. Well, uh, the truck, the uh, garbage trucks are out there doing some stuff right now. We also have a problem with just not enough workers. Um, and they, they need uneducated workers, so the, the demand for housing is quite high. So let's start off with that. Let's just keep expanding our um, housing our housing world. Now, um, I think we said we wanted to, like, let's stay organic and let's stay bendy. You know? Um, I don't know if that is the best and I'm not exactly in this very first city trying to be efficient I, I'm just kind of kind of building and, and having fun at this stage so um, probably not the best the best layouts I'm probably not going to be very efficient it's probably not going to make much sense but hey we're just building we're just building oh he didn't like that oh I'm sorry but I'm the government and the government is always correct all right so we're going to um, just throw in a little bit more uh, residential in the area I'm gonna leave that space open for some facilities for later um, we're gonna fill in that area a little bit more uh, let me press that fill button there so we can just kind of just draw it out like a uh, so let's draw that out like so and uh, why not? We're just gonna paint that in that little area in right here, and right here. Okay, whatever, whatever. We're gonna just continue that area right over there. And throw that. Just, just, just have it. Just have it. Okay. So, um, our industrial area is growing, but there's kind of no point in growing our industrial area until we can get some more workers into the into the city. Um, that's a that's kind of a serious problem. Um, and it's going to hamper our ability to grow this town if we can't get educated workers. Um, let's see again. Let's check and see how high school is doing and college. Um, I think we probably need a new elementary school because we only have maybe one or, or two. So there's an elementary. And did I not see an elementary school over here? That's a, that's, no, that's the Telford residence. The Telford residence. So we only have two elementary schools, and they are, uh, that's not quite at capacity, that's not quite at capacity, but um, what about the high school? Um, high school is like filled to the brim. Do we have any other high schools? Any other high schools? Any other high schools? Any other high schools? 
Um, no. No, we don't. We don't have any other high schools. So let's get another high school going. Let's... Because, you know, we've got to think of the children. If, if no one else thinks... If we don't think of the children, who else will? I mean, really. All right, so we've got a high school for the west side of town, and we got a high school for the east side of town. East side, west side. And so that's going to be kind of that. Um, and hopefully in time... That's going to help. Wow, already 95 students. As soon as I plopped it down, people are getting enrolled. Okay, let's speed things up a tiny bit here because we've got to keep growing. This area, which I'm going to start probably once we start getting into naming areas, I'm going to name this Old Town because this is kind of the old downtown area of the city, but it's really this area is going to become a bit more robust um, as we continue. Um... How are we doing with traffic? Surprisingly, things aren't haven't been like crowding up on us. So either uh, our little uh, traffic circle is doing all right, or you know we just don't have much that much of a traffic problem. But uh, these people are getting abandoned. Stop it! All right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go to. I wonder why they shut down? Is it because they didn't have enough workers or? I think this is a not enough customers problem. Problems galore in this town, folks. All right, so what else do we need to deal with? Trash is still a problem here. I mean, are the garbage trucks just not getting there? Are they not coming there or what? I'm, I'm actually really kind of worried about the garbage problem because already we've got a landfill that is 52% fill. So let's go ahead and preempt that problem with another landfill. So, uh, this area, I'm going to probably call Mount Rumpke. Um, because, uh, funny thing, uh, back when I, I grew up in a place called Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, nice little old city. And uh, we had a little area called Mount Rumpke. And Mount Rumpke um, was like a is, a, is a mountain. A mountain of uh, garbage, actually. Um... It was huge. It was like it, it was like a big mountain, to be honest with you, and uh, and I remember climbing the mountain and taking pictures. I didn't do any of that actually. Page up. Let's page up to uh, to go up. No, we gotta lay it. Whoa, too high. That's higher than a kite. Just a little bit lower. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of get that just a little bit. Uh, there we go. Probably not the best bridge on earth, but it will do. Okay, so what are the problems that we've got to deal with? We've got more more housing, more problems. So education, the schools are getting back to normal. How about crime? Oh, we have such law-abiding citizens. Oh, I'm so happy for y'all. So let's go ahead and just grow our commercial sector a little bit more. Let's just build a big old happy block of commerce right there. Business is booming, so let's keep it booming, Buddy Rose. And we're going to um, continue to kind of... No, don't bulldoze those people's, those people's homes. I mean, that's not nice. There we go. And then, uh, let's see. I know this uh, layout of a city is probably driving many of you positively insane. And, and you know, I get it. I absolutely get it. Um... Because I'm kind of just building all willy-nilly. And that's not exactly uh, the best way to plan out a city is all willy-nilly-like. You know what I mean? But who cares, right? I mean, this, to be honest, is kind of just a, uh, a test city. Just to kind of get a feel for the game. 
get a feel for how things are. Get a feel for how things flow. Um, that's really all we're doing here. Uh, fire coverage, not gonna lie, could be much better, especially here. So let's get a fire department over here. Because this represents a mega uh, fire hazard. So we're just gonna just throw down a thingy there. Very nice. And they're still having problems getting workers. Um, so industry is really suffering. Um, is that we're not getting enough educated workers? Is it a transit problem? Is it that people live too far? Uh, between this between to the from the industrial sector I'm, I'm not really sure do you think it's time for us to start investing in a bus system um i wonder if there's a way we can just start looking at some numbers let's let's be fact based here um is it this button nope and uh is it this button Children, teens, young adults, adults, seniors, uh, workers, zone buildings. Maybe what it is, is there's too much industrial and not enough workers. I mean, that could be something. Um, where's another place that'll show me a breakdown of... of Oh, is water a problem? How's the water supply looking? No, it's fine. We're doing we're doing okay. Water is cool. How's power consumption while we're worried about it? Power is cool. So uh, it just and it also could be just a drop in demand, but I, I feel like workers is a problem. Um, also, yeah, we're starting to get some crowding now. This area is starting to get a bit of a bottleneck going. Oh, new building. So we can build a hospital. Healthcare availability is still really high. Average health is 68%. So we've got, we've got plenty of, um, of room for some healthcare. So I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Um, let's see, a bus depot. <laughs> so maybe we might want to invest in some busing. Police headquarters. Um, crime is not really a problem, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. No sense in building things that are way more expensive than they need to be. Um, you know, I think we said a while back we were going to pretty up some space around here to make it nice, you know, and acceptable. So, uh, let's, let's look into that. Let's throw down a park just for ish and giggles. Yeah, traffic is starting to be a big problem out here. Um, we may want to invest in a second exit. Um, yeah, we might want to invest in a second exit, like a thoroughfare straight out of the industrial. Well, the, the issue is, is this industrial area. I don't know what the answer would be, but... Probably, uh, let's see, let's just kind of observe, observe where people, so these guys are coming in from the southbound and into here, or they're coming in from the northbound into here, so a lot of trucks are filtering into this side of town, huh, something to, some stuff to think about, all right, so let's keep, let's not, uh, lose pace with the growth of our fair city. Uh, 
I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, I almost didn't. Oh, they didn't like that. That's weird. And we're gonna just put down some more and some more right there. All right. Oh, what just happened? We just became a big town. What did we get for that? Uh, unique five. We get a metro. Um, we can do... You know, we haven't even di dived into tax stuff. Incineration plant. That's what we need. Unique buildings. Anything we get out of that? No. All right. So let's start build. Let's, let's go ahead and build an incineration plant. It's going to draw a boatload of... Uh, of, uh, of, of, of problems pollution wise but you know that's just the way it is folks okay um, let's continue some some building of residential zones out here um, we're just gonna just it's the only thing about free handing it like I've been doing you can't exactly fill in the areas nice and neatly let's uh, continue to let's expand our downtown area a little bit more let's give it almost kind of like a valid shape Um, not that. Will that have power? Yeah. Will it have water? That's what I want to know. It will not. Let's walk. Let's let's poopy pipe it on up. I'm just drawing pipes all the way down along here, so I just don't have to worry about it later. Again, it might not be efficient, but at least I don't have to worry about it. High density commercial. So here's an interesting thought. I, I was thinking about this in the shower this morning. Um, I what if I kind of made this called like Old Town, which is going to be kind of like smaller in scale, lower rise buildings and stuff like that. But we build a bridge over across into that side of town and call that New Town, New City. So. You know, New Jack City, it'll be more of skyscrapers and that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it, but um, I kind of want to experiment with that. And I'm, I'm starting to get cash money in, so I kind of, you know, why not, why not experiment with that? That sounds, it sounds like a viable idea. Um, I don't know if it truly is. But uh, I hope it is. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna what's this? Office zones. Oh, let's throw in offices because we can now do that. And we're gonna maybe put in some more some residential here. Experiment with some high density residential. And then we're just gonna just throw in some high density commercial here. Not too much. We don't want to grow too fast, but just enough to kind of wet our wet our tongues to grow out this town. But this is going to start being problematic. Oh, yeah, this is problematic. Look at this. So how do we deal with this, folks? Um, hmm. P 
people want these trucks are trying to get into here into this industrial zone so how do we deal with that as an issue maybe we can try and build another ramp to kind of take some pressure off um, let's see gravel road two lane road trees where are the on ramps and off ramps what are these these are clover leaves um hmm um, ah highway ramp so let's see this kind of did a little bit of a bendy curvy type thing so perhaps we can do something similar and we have it all reroute everybody into here so can it just kind of be like this can we can we raise that? Can we raise that? Oh, problem is gonna be where are we gonna come down at? Here's an idea. What if we continue to send that kind of down here? Something like that. And then, so for then the people coming down south, we need another ramp. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna get better at this highway stuff, I promise. I solemnly promise. Oh, something like. They need a bit more of a frontage, don't they, before they can just um, come all the way out. Um, well, uh, uh, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about we do it up here? Something like that. And see, a lot of these people from the southbound are using this road. So maybe we should go ahead and buy the plot on the southbound and do a ramp that's going to come off and take people into these two areas. So maybe we should do that. So can we buy? See, I'm buying plots before I even knew I was going to buy plots. Um, how much is that? 6000 Oh, I can afford it. How much is that now? That's seven thousand. We're investing in my city. We're, we're this is an investment in growth for the future. All right, for the future of mankind. So what if we kind of took a ramp? Oh, that's a problem. You're in the way. It's not needed like it once was, I think. And we're going to take that ramp. Mm 
No, it's not what I wanted at all, but that's all right. Uh, so that should take some pressure. I wonder if I can just do a connect, connect. So, oh, I seem to have forgot my to start my stopwatch. So, I wasn't sure exactly how long we've been in this so far. So, I bet we've been in here already for about 15 minutes. So, I'll do another 10 minutes of this. How about that, everybody? So, I apologize if I was run if I'm running over time because I seem to have lost all concepts of time. All right, so I think this is a good temporary solution. Now, how do people get on the highway? So, so let me make sure I got this right. Let me make sure I got this right. People who are coming southbound get off the highway like so. People who are coming this way, they get off the highway like so. Um, people who... What about people who need to get on? How do you get on the highway? So these people get on the highway like so. These people get off the highway like so. So how do these people, so how do people who want to go north get on the highway? It's a good question. It's a very good question. Good to do with that. Maybe something like that. I hope that's right. This will likely need complete redesign. So now here's another problem. There's still an excessive amount of traffic because people still need to get into this area. Um, so that's kind of a challenge is that a lot of people still need to get into this area and this area is where there's a lot of bottlenecking. Um, maybe, you, maybe we just need to upgrade a road. Now, how do we do that? There was an upgrade road button. Oops. All right. So how are we dealing with this traffic problem? Now we're starting to th see things get a little busy, but... Um, looks like we've kind of done a much better job of relieving the stress and the traffic off of that area. It's a good sign, though, when we're starting to get a lot of uh, traffic in the city. That's a, that's a good problem to have. All right, let's continue doing some, some growing here. Um, I'm actually going to throw a little bit of dense residential right here. Wow, you know it's in high demand. When literally a half a second after putting that stuff down, I'm getting stuff. Let's put a little bit there. High density there. A little bit of high density there. Not enough educated workers. Oh, is our high school full? Uh, it's getting there. Um, I think it probably is also time to look at expanding our um, industrial zone a bit more. So that's going to probably be necessary. How is our garbage upkeep going? So 82%, 39%. Um, yeah, so that's our garbage problem is no longer a problem at least.
Okay. Let's see. What else should we work towards? We've now kind of gotten some some little bit of stabilized cadence here, but this area is going to eventually need a ton of work. I, I'm thinking that we may make, like, I don't know, this area just needs to get redone. I'm not sure. We've got to think of some ideas to kind of make that better. I don't know, maybe um, have each of these ramps separate. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, probably need to look at expanding these roads a bit more. There's a lot we probably need to do to clean that side of town up. So let's continue our expansion here. Um, we're going to do that and that and that. We're going to kind of link up this and this. Oh, you didn't like it? Well, it's too bad. And so you're going to go there. Cause this is this is the uh, this is the burbs, right? This area, it's all about the suburbs out here. Weird streets that don't kind of make sense. That's the suburbs, or at least the suburb that I'm from, anyway. And we're gonna just kind of just do that little number right there. So we need to build up some more industrial. We're going to expand this way. And I think I might have to use some, some more higher capacity roads or maybe some one ways or, um, and we're not going to be curvy over here because I have a feeling that efficiency is going to be valued far greater than, uh, than, uh, simplicity. Uh, let's see, we're gonna take that all the way down to the house. Bam. Alright, so we're gonna throw a little bit more industrial. In fact, um, should I upgrade all of these roads as best I can? I, I don't know. Let's let's upgrade them later. I know, I know. I'm like the real government. Well, let's just put it off until later, until someone complains enough about it. Um, industrial. So let's zone that up. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space over here on this end for services. So we're shaping up a little mini downtown area, it seems. It's not going to be the most um, elegant or perfect downtown area. This ice. This I most verily say unto all of you. But it'll probably be interesting. A very interesting downtown area. Let me throw a little bit more dense residential down. Kind of in this area. Okay. And um, I think. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I bought all this space down here. Um, need to do something about it. Now, can I build farms? How do you do that? Oh, yeah, I forgot to put down some offices. Let's put down some offices. Like, say, right here. I forgot I could do that. Um, I thought we can build farms. How do I do that? Residential areas. This is a D zone. What's this? Districting. 
Ah, sunset plants and considering required natural resource, fertile land. Aha. Okay, I understand. So I need to, in the land I get, I need to district as a farmland. Okay. Maybe we should look into building out some farming, some farming areas while we're at it. Oops. My mouse, there it went. Okay. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, we've made some progress. We've kind of started dealing with our traffic problems here. Starting to upgrade roads. We're becoming a much bigger city, so uh, we're gonna ha we have to kind of spend the money to get there. And um, we're starting to upgrade some areas to kind of make them bigger, getting more traffic lights. We probably want to start investing in uh, some transit, so we're probably going to need to do that. Um... And I think we just need to work towards building up our downtown area a little bit more. Now that we have this space, we can start building out our residential and kind of look how we want to handle that area down this way. And um, and uh, I think that's I think that's the main stuff. Um, also, let's also think about: Do we want to expand across the river and also make that like a very urban area? So it's kind of like this is old town, this is new town. Um, and then maybe rezoning out this area to be something. Lots to think about over the next couple weeks, uh, over the next couple episodes. So um, I think that is it, everybody. I think we've, I think we've done all the damage that we can uh, that we can handle. I think I've done all the damage that I can handle. So um, anyway, you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy yourselves, and may you enjoy a beautiful ride through Shamrock City, and I hope you guys have a very lucky day. Bye-bye now.